hello beautiful souls. And oftentimes, this will subconsciously motivate us to hermit, to be alone for a period of time. To really fully allow that old layer of ourself, of our skin, to be shed and released and to allow us to shift energetically into this new embodiment of self. This can often be equivalent to getting ready before you go out, taking a shower, getting dressed, putting on the clothes you want to wear. For some of you, this may involve doing your hair, your makeup, whatever the case is. You prepare yourself before you enter some kind of a new event. And I see that this hermit mode, I'm hearing it's like a mini hermit mode, because for some of you, this may have just been a few days or even a day of just really wanting to be alone and spend time with yourself. But during this time, in a sense, you were preparing yourself, dressing yourself energetically, prepping yourself to open that doorway to this brand new timeline that I really see solidifying for you at this time. What is this new timeline going to hold for the Divine Feminine here? Wow, right as I said that, we have the Empress you in this beautifully awakened Divine Feminine energy. The word beauty is really standing out here, so I feel that on this new timeline, there's something really beautiful about you, your energy, and that actually reflects on how others perceive you physically as well. In the extended version of the reading, I will also be channeling more messages from your spirit guides and higher self, anything that you might need to know at this point on your life path. All I'll say about this card is that, for someone listening, there may have been a bit of chaotic energy around you recently. This could be a sense of greater chaos in your life, in relationships. I'm hearing disrupted, you may have felt disrupted by certain unexpected circumstances of your life. Things happening out of the blue that may disrupt the rhythm or flow of your life. This card could also symbolize someone even particularly dreaming about chaos or dreaming about natural disasters, for example. You may have a dream of some kind of natural disaster that is, in a sense, you kind of channeling into this collective chaos energy. And I see that through all of this, you are this beacon of unconditional love and light, with the angel of love upper right. I'm hearing, it's not you. I don't know who needs to hear this, but whatever I'm hearing, it's like artificial chaos. Whatever chaotic energy may be around someone at this time, and again, I feel this won't be for everyone. I feel a message coming through that this is the unconscious collective reacting to your energy of love and perhaps reflecting or projecting that fear of what you are illuminating within them back onto you. During this time, there was a lot of deep subconscious healing, energy shifting happening from within you, perhaps even beyond what your conscious mind could grasp or understand. So during that time, you may have felt guided to spend most of your time alone. Again in some kind of isolation, which I'm hearing is really or was really a sacred container for this deep cellular healing that was taking place within you. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe.